Hey, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcoltexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Tuesday morning forecast update and uh, potentially could see some dangerous weather, especially across southern Arkansas today. Uh, as of this morning, we already have a flash flood warning that extends from Little River County all the way over into uh, northern Nevada County. So uh, this is something we'll be dealing with. Radar estimating we've already seen some one to three inches of rain in these spots and could see an additional two to four today. So by the end of the day, it is completely possible we could have some areas uh, potentially have six to ten inches of rain so that's the reason we do have the flash flood watch you notice that extended back into Bowie County and also McCurtain County we're expecting these thunderstorms may start to back build just a little bit and this is actually some of the remnants from uh, tropical storm Barry we had that heavy rain to the south of the Arkletex yesterday did produce some 15 to 20 inch accumulations and we're seeing the same kind of setup this morning maybe not as widespread as what we saw yesterday but uh, paying very close attention to what happens along I-30 this morning you can see some of those thunder storms uh, just kind of clipping the northern edge of Howard County and Hempstead County to start out the morning so far. A lot of thunder and lightning associated with these. So two different weather patterns today. We'll have this kind of persistent band of rain and thunderstorms across the northern Arkletex and the rest of us will start that slow drying tent today. May see some spotty showers and maybe a few thunderstorms I-20 and southward but for the most part the rain expected to remain across the northern Arkletex today. Not only that but we could be dealing with some high wind gusts with some of these storms so the uh, Storm Prediction Center does have that marginal risk of severe storms out north of I-20 does include the Texarkana area and uh, as far as future cast notice it lines up really well with where the rain is this morning it actually scoots it off to the east but it does develop some more activity as we go through the afternoon and evening, which is just uh, unneeded rainfall in those locations at this point. So this is something, uh, the potential for some flash flooding to occur, and not only this morning, but as we go through the day today, as we are likely going to see some persistent development there along and north of Interstate 30. So uh, again, a flash flooding, number one weather-related killer in this part of the country. So make sure you turn around, don't drown, don't go around any barricades, as that will be the issue today. And then as we move into tomorrow, ridge of high pressure builds in, Barry scoots well off to the northeast. So we are looking uh, kind of hot and dry for the rest of the week, which is probably uh, good news that will be dry after the heavy rain that we're expected to see across the northern Arkletex today. So as far as the additional rainfall totals, uh, anywhere you see that pink showing up there, that does indicate some six plus inch amounts. So just outside of the Arkletex, imagine if we scooted that back in, then it's uh, very easily today with the rain that we've already seen, we could see some four to six inch accumulation, especially uh, northern Nevada, northern Hempstead, and into Howard County. So that's what we'll be watching for uh, throughout the day. Your temperatures, uh, very warm for us this morning. Shreveport at 80, Mansfield still at 80, the rest of us in the low to mid 70s. We still have that cloud cover, which kind of prevented us from cooling down overnight. And uh, will be a breezy day as well. Southwest winds about 15 miles per hour at times in your afternoon highs, kind of all over the board, just depending on where the rain sets up. A lot of us in the low 90s today, including Ida Bell at 91. Ida Bell, you are in that flash flood uh, watch as well, but the, just kind of the question mark whether the rain's going to make its way back to you today. Uh, but just know that you are in that flash flood watch today. Things dry out for the remainder of the week. So that means we're back to July with highs uh, settling into the mid 90s here. And it looks like the next decent chance of rain, if not late this weekend, will be early next week.